the agent they murdered. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker, for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? A fluent business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Hui, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize, how you desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. He's got a religious street that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contention of locals. The Qatar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pak Qatari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. Soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pak Atari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There is no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he's in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaru is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions.
Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this odd nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Whoa. We got company, stay sharp. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Got eyes on the target. Let's move. Spotted one with submachine guns. I see a second target. Drone is airborne. Moving to position. Hostiles. Got another tango. Hey, we got a narco. Tell me where. In front of the watchtower. Hold 
chingada madre, me huele a puerco. Hey, we got an arco with the submachine gun. Sticking close to the sandbag emplacement. Cooperate to the Saldra Bien. Pinche cabrón. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Lo enciendes? Chill the fuck out, cabrón. What do you want? Amaru. Where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. <laughs> we need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru is a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. We'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up the supplies later. Let's get moving. The cartel isn't gonna wait around for us to track down and rescue Amaru. surrounding the bombing of the U.S. Embassy starting to die down a little bit, all of the strange details of the incident are starting to come into focus for your perico. And not just the details, neta, but also the gaps in the story, the blank spaces where nothing's been drawn. Everybody is blaming, or crediting depending who you ask, is blaming this bombing on the Santa Blanca cartel. Bueno, no one within the cartel has claimed responsibility, and when you bomb somebody, you won't be able to know you did it, right? It's como, if you didn't kill a motherfucker, you at least want to scare a motherfucker. Now, in public, the cartel has not denied responsibility. But I know for a fact that all the bochones in the cartel know that this bombing was not done by Santa Blanca. So who bombed the embassy? Like I said, there are more details coming to light, such as the death of Ricky El Cojonudo Sandoval, so close on the heels of this bombing. And coming up on a toyo farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. It's 
spotting another tango. Tango number three. He makes five. Got it, moving. Say the word. He's gone. They're gonna make you back up. Frag out. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, I'm getting you out of here. I'll fly. Let's go, let's go. Where are you taking me? Back to your friends. Entonces Pac Catari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor. Nice with my boots. Are you hurt? Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us see. Their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not. We're not. Were their names Yuri and Polito? Si. Yuri and Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run of the mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. Heads up. Bowman's file on Yuri and Plito is coming through.
there were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was murdered. El Sueño, the head of the Santa Blanca cartel, Ricky, and the last two were La Yuri and El Polito. Yuri and Polito met at a poor state-run hospital in Chiapas, where El Polito was doing his residency, and La Yuri worked as a nurse. It was love at first sight. From the first moment their eyes met, they were inseparable. A love like no other. One day, a Buchan named La Plaga walked into the ER. All shot up. It was touch and go for a while, but Yuri and Polito were able to save his life. La Plaga was grateful. He showered them with gifts, invitations to the most exclusive parties, even a new car. And after a while, La Plaga made Yuri and Polito the personal medical staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. But that wasn't their main job. See, Yuri and Polito know about the human body. They know how much pain a person can endure before he'll die. They know how to keep a person alive and awake so they can feel the pain. And most of all, they know how to inflict that pain. That's what they do in Itaqua province. When Santa Blanca captures someone that refuses to talk, La Yuri and El Polito make them talk. They break people. Like I said, there were four people in the room the night Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sueño, Ricky, Yuri, and Polito. They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him. Non-stop for 47 hours straight. They broke Ricky Sandoval. Then Sueño executed him. That's the rundown on La Yuri and El Polito. They're a key part of Santa Blanca's security operation. Remember to check out Bowman's briefing on their chain of command. Guy in charge of security is El Muro, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend to El Sueño. El Muro's little brother is La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. Very active on social media. Head Sicario for the cartel. The hunt starts now. We want Sueño, we gotta work our way up the hierarchy. First targets are Yuri and Polito. We find the intel, we track them down, we take them out. Fire, fire, fire. Engaging the copy.
No, man. Wait. Nomad, I've got Pakatari on the line. Sounds like he needs our help. Hold up. Nomad. Hold on. Ready? Fuck. Engage. Roger. He's dead. I'll drive. GPS says the place is named Yopil. I don't see any signs of fighting. It's just a ghost town. I suppose either the cartel or the dogs chased everybody off. Put him through. Hola, compadre. I have a problem in Itaqua, and Bowman says you may be able to help. My people need help. There have been many losses to the cartel, and the horrors inflicted by Yuri Polito have broken their spirit. The fires of revolution have almost gone out. Spare me the rhetoric, Atari. Just tell me what you need. There is a cartel supply convoy passing through the province soon. Capturing it would give my people much needed supplies and restore their morale. Can you do this? Consider it done. Taking orders from Pat Katari now? Katari needs this convoy. We are gonna give it to him. The more he depends on us to get shit done, the more we can get out of him in return.
drone is up. I got a third. Tango marked, but he's got a civilian nearby. Moving to position. Ready. Call the shot. Tango is fucking down. Keep it quiet, they know we're here. We're clear. We got a 20 in the garage where Pleto parks his sports car. We snag that, we snag his GP. We've got a look. Yes. Maybe something there tells us where he and his girlfriend are. Oh. I have on the line the scariest couple with the cutest Instagram account, Yuri y Polito. Hola, Perico. Como va todo, man? Welcome to the show, banda. I realize that doctor-patient confidentiality is supposed to be a thing, but hey, we're criminals. What can you tell us about any of your recent patients and how you treated them? Por ejemplo, I know our listeners are very curious about a gringo who was recently your guest. Oh, he means Ricky. Senor Ricky, what a guy. We knew him socially, you know. A really fun guy. Te acuerdas, Molly? We really like him. But that's the business, you know. One day you're having jealous with a guy, con un carnal. The next day, you're giving him a turpentine and ammo. But, bueno. Así es la vida. Or breaking his fingers with a ball-peen hammer. Or legs, you know, at the shin. People are always so afraid when you break their legs. I broke my leg once. I jumped off a roof in the hood when I was a kid. Neta, it hurts. Sure, but, you know, no sé. Mira, when we break a leg, people know. The way we shatter the tibia in three places, they know they won't walk right ever again. Chale, was this part of your treatment with the gringo? Hey, what's the chingon? Really not, huh? That's one of the things I really liked about him. <laughs> Chivato, but it's the tough one that forced you to be really creative, no? <laughs> bueno, en minutos, we'll hear more from these cuties in a few minutes. But for now, back to some tunes. This is the garage. Sound off if you spot Polito's car. Roger that. Yo, cartel gunman, over by the turret. 
There it is. Eyes on Polito's car. Looks like they're feeling crunky. This car is swanky. And there's a bloody condom in the glove box. Make that two bloody condoms. I guess that confirms it's Yuri and Polito's ride. Hold up. Okay, let's focus on the mission. This car is swanky. Hold on. This car is swanky. And there's a bloody condom in the glove box. Hold up. They've seen us. This car is swanky. And there's a bloody condom in the glove box. Make that two bloody condoms. I guess that confirms it's Yuri and Polito's ride. Even if the condoms come standard, it's a sweet fucking car. I never could understand an arc opening. You get an expensive whip, put chrome rims on it, then you just drive it around the same dusty times you were driving around before. You totally want one of these cars, don't you? Fancy car, fancy suit, still the same street, so what's the point? Air conditioning. All right, now it's up to Bowman and the activity. They'll check the car's GPS for locations where Yuri and Polito may be hiding out. Website. Up, people. You can find his personal blog and all the video content you can market, handle. Jeeves. Those of you who log on to his old website will be re- Pakatari's rebel movement is on the verge of defeat. If we help him turn things around, we'll be able to count on his support in the future. Ready? Open fire. Copy that. Go on. This car get away from Fucking the hell. That was messy as shit. Out of the car. Now. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Easy. Go on well, with I have to say, that was some inspired shit. Hanging this about the upside down, then cutting? How did you think this shit up? Chido, bro. I appreciate the comments. In actuality, I read a lot, DJ Perico. The French intellectual Georges Bataille wrote extensively about methods of torture. And as he describes, there is an erotic element to the activity. Uh-huh. And dungeon. Oh my god. Sorry about this, brother, but I gotta have the car. Out. Bro. Better not roll this thing. Fire, fire, fire. That's what we have to explode. No more tangos here. The lieutenant's on the run.
Here we go. Looks like an Unidad patrol. Got infantry with a radio truck in support. Rebels could use a tech upgrade. You want to take them out? We're cool, we're cool. Objective secure. Let's clear out. We'll pass word to the Rebels to come get the radio gear. Pack, this is Nomad. The convoy is secure. <laughs> Gracias, amigo. My people will make good use of those supplies. My people are searching for La Yuri y El Polito, but in the meantime, there is something else you can do for us. I have prepared a speech for the people of Bolivia. It is a call to arms that we will broadcast from Itaqua. Santa Blanca is going to send troops to shut that down as soon as they hear the transmission. You see my problem? I need someone dependable to find a radio transmitter and protect it until the broadcast is complete. Okay, Katari. We'll get it done. Keep your eyes on the road. You just hit a civilian. Eyes on the cartel element. Okay, we're still to the side. You're gonna get made. Hang back. The rebels need supplies badly, and that chopper's got them. Let's snag that bird and get it turned in the right direction. The lieutenant's escaping. What the hell are you doing? Take cover. Hang on, I'm coming. Chill out, he the bad guys in the area. You gonna execute him because he hurt your feelings? All right, we're all clear. I got it. I'll fly. Let's ride. the chopper here and the rebels will pick it up. We ought to be able to find some intel around here. We've got enemy activity nearby. Narco with a damn minigun. Where you got him? On the bridge.
What do you know? This should lead us straight to an SB antenna. Pakatari's got some brass ones, I'll give him that. Give that fucker an inch and he'll take a mile. If he can get us a Yuri and Polito, it's worth it. Let's get it done. Akatari's rebel movement is on the verge of defeat. If we help him turn things around, we'll be able to counter his support in the future. Cartel's gonna hit this place hard once that transmission starts. in this location for intel. We got Tango, danger close.
frag out. I'm in here to clue. Sent. The rebels are gonna give Santa Blanca hell after this. Well done, compadres. My speech was heard all over Bolivia. It is only a matter of time before the people rise up and join our cause. Viva la revolución! Glad we could help. Now what have you got? Polito. Nothing yet, amigo. Those two, they cover their tracks well. But my people are working on it. We will know something soon. In the meantime, my revolutionary brothers in Itaqua stand ready to help if you need them. Just call, and they will come. I'll keep that in mind. Someone who can give you information on Yuri and Polito. I'm listening. One of my lieutenants managed to escape from them. He fled to a village called Kulta. Rather than give my man up to the cartel, the villagers hid him. Goddamn bravery right there. In response, Santa Blanca raised every home and executed all the villagers. My lieutenant is still being kept alive. Probably so he can be killed in an even more painful way. Got some questions for you, asshole. Pack, Nomad here. Sorry for the interrupt. I'll talk, okay? Just come down. No reason why the supplies ought to go to the cartel. We can steal that cargo plane and hand the gear over to the rebels instead. Works for me. Let's go. Are you there, Kumpa? Nomad here. Go ahead, over. My lieutenant is still being kept alive.
Probably so he can be killed in an even more painful way. Understood. We're heading to Kulta now. A captured rebel being held in the village of Kulta might have valuable intel on Lyuri and El Polito. Rescue him from the cartel and find out what he knows. Looks like Kulta is still smoldering. Keep an eye out for the rebel they've got held here. There's a Sicario over here. I don't see him. In front of the church. Got another tango. Sniper out there. Mano. What do you want from me? Yuri and Polito, the fuckers who tortured you. We're here to make them pay for what they did. But we need to know where they took you. We didn't travel far. I... I remembered that much, and it was quiet. Out in the country somewhere. There... there was a smell, like old animal skins. That's all I know. I... I'm sorry. It's all right. At least now we know they're close by. Gracias.
missing man, I'll be right there. I got eyes in a weapons case. Out of the car, now. Don't make this harder than it has to be. A captured rebel being held in the village of Colta might have valuable intel on Liuri and El Polito. Rescue him from the cartel and find out what he knows. Mejor precio solo en Mercab, la cadena de supermercados líder en Bolivia. Si no lo encuentra en Mercab, no lo encuentra en Bolivia.
about enemy activity nearby. Troops, heads up. Point him out. There, next to the food container. All clear, all clear. In the area. I got one narco, close to the helo. so long. This document mentions a name of that captain and sends a prisoner to the Nunedad for interrogations. He's got to know where our lovebirds are. He's sitting in the Nunedad firebase. 